Australian health authorities have today confirmed a sixth case of coronavirus. The Victorian man, aged in his 60s, is being kept in home isolation and his family is also being monitored. The latest diagnosis comes as Australian scientists announce a major breakthrough. They've managed to grow the coronavirus in a laboratory. The ABC was in the lab when they made the discovery. Medical reporter Sophie Scott has more. It's not often scientists get excited. Awesome. So it's definitely great. So we've got it. Fantastic. But these researchers from the Peter Doherty Institute for Infection and Immunity have a good reason. They've grown the new coronavirus in the lab. We got our first patient on Friday and we have successfully grown the virus from that patient. The cells that are popping up. The researchers grew the virus in monkey cells from an infected patient. The black dots you see here are cells dying off from the coronavirus. We thought visually looking down the microscope of the virus was growing in cell culture, which was really exciting after only a couple of days. The development brings scientists closer to an effective vaccine and treatment. Stamping out of outbreaks depends on the laboratory result. Everything starts with the laboratory result. Australia will share its copy of the virus with specialist labs and the World Health Organisation, something China has refused to do. This will be a game changer for other labs within Australia because at the moment no other labs really have positive control material. The breakthrough could help identify people who have the virus but don't have any symptoms. That's now happened overseas and health authorities here are tightening quarantine restrictions. Contact of any confirmed novel coronavirus cases now must be isolated in their home for 14 days prior to following exposure. Returned travellers who have been in the Hubei province of China must also be isolated in their home for 14 days after leaving Hubei province. The decision is aimed at stopping the spread of the virus, but experts stress the likelihood of someone who doesn't have symptoms transmitting coronavirus remains low. Sophie Scott, ABC News.